Adinke said, ugliness is in the eyes of the beholder. But I didn't want to make something random and ugly, no. I wanted to create something as scientifically, objectively ugly as I could. Something that is so profoundly despicable. A perfect monster of a design is what I wanted to create. It's kind of hard to explain how ugly I wanted to make this. Over the weekend, I saw a post on Twitter. Someone essentially asking for an ugly Linux desktop. You don't need to know much about Linux to know that it's very customizable. Linux-based operating systems can be heavily customized. You can't ruin Windows or Mac OS as much as I'm about to create an atrocious desktop for Linux. You can find beauty in comfort. You can find it in symmetry, naturally occurring things. We're predisposed to thinking that these things are beautiful. There is also a contrast. There is a certain kind of beauty in things that are unusual. And some people do find chaos intriguing. Alas, I cannot make something universally ugly to everyone but I can try to make something that is so objectively and scientifically ugly to as many people as possible. The first thing I had to do was install an operating system that's Linux-based. Arch is a good contender for this, so I installed Arch. And the result is a very bare-bones terminal. This is the entire operating system. With this ready, we can now create a desktop environment. I choose i3wm as the main desktop environment that I'm going to use. It's very bare bones, no widgets, no menus. All you get is this way of opening and closing windows. Windows are tiled automatically, but you can resize them and move them. It's quite plain, utilitarian perhaps. It doesn't look very good, but it's not ugly. So let's create some menus and widgets. EU, conveniently named, is a UI toolkit. It's a framework that will let us create any kind of widget that we would want, and we could theme it to our liking. So I used EU to create some basic widgets. I went for something chaotic, uneven borders, lots of asymmetry, colors that are highly contrasting and not often found in nature. And probably the most important thing, I chose a very unusual, unfortunate font. There is a sense of wonder when you create ugly things on purpose. I installed a kitty terminal, which is very themable. And as you could probably guess, shows highly contrasting colors that are not often found in nature. Along with this, I also applied the font, the unfortunate font. I added harsh shadows, harsh window borders. I made sure to bookmark some questionable websites for the browser to make it part of the entire theme. GTK is a UI toolkit slash framework that lets you create UIs within Linux. GTK is nice because you can make it look very nice and you can theme it as well. Although I themed it to look quite not nice. So I made a GTK theme following the same philosophies I discussed earlier. One of creating something that is universally, generally ugly. The current presentation of the entire desktop is quite bad. Uh, it is actually very bad. It is almost hard to see anything or read anything because the font is so f***ed up. But there is still one missing piece, which is the wallpaper. Arguably the easiest part of personalization of any desktop is the wallpaper. Perhaps you choose something plain. For this, I had to create something specifically for this design. I chose to embed some messages that are quite atrocious. I think it fits quite well. And this is the culmination of this project. It is um, an amalgamation of ugliness. Probably one of the worst things I've ever done. It is filled with chaos and disgust. And if you wish to go deeper, you would see the browser history, which 